In this video, I'm going to show you how to create Google Analytics 4 custom reports step by step. If you're struggling with creating custom reports in GA4, this video is going to walk you through exactly what you need to do to create a basic freeform custom report. Now, we'll deal with the other custom report types in future videos, so be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and that way you'll know as soon as they become available. Let's begin by looking at how GA4's reporting interface is laid out. When you first set up a report, you'll notice that there are two columns in the report editor, one for variables and the other for tab settings. The variable column is where you'll choose all of the variables that you want to use in your report. In order for them to show up in the report, you'll need to drag them over to the other column. The tab settings column is what controls what appears in your report, so you'll be dragging and dropping dimensions and metrics from the variables column here to add them to your report. When you're adding segments, dimensions, or metrics to your report, you'll see a long list of available variables that are organized under headings. It's a good idea to familiarize yourself with the available dimensions and metrics by browsing through them. Now, the easiest way to find what you're looking for is to use the search bar at the top. And once you've chosen the variables that you'd like to add, click the blue Import button to add them to your report. Now we'll look at how to create a Google Analytics 4 custom exploration report. First, we'll choose Freeform in the Explorer tab. So you'll need to go to the Explorer tab in the left navigation bar that pops out and then select Freeform. You can also use a blank template to create a Freeform report, but we like to use the Freeform option because it populates a report with some data to get started. It's often easier to manipulate it when you have some examples rather than just starting from scratch. Next, we'll pick the date range for our report. It defaults to the past 30 days. Now we'll look at segments. Segments are optional, and they mean the same thing in GA4 as they did in Universal Analytics. They're just ways of putting traffic into buckets, and that way you can see it alone or compare it to other segments. Like, for example, traffic from a certain country, region, or city, mobile traffic or desktop traffic, users who's made a purchase, or traffic from a certain channel, either paid, organic, or social. All right, next, you can add any dimension that you might want in your report beyond the ones that are there. And depending on the kind of report you'd like to see, you might want the event name, campaign, or page location. Then we'll look at adding metrics. What numbers are you wanting to see about the dimensions that you pick? So you might want to see users, views, or purchases, for instance. Now let's look at dragging and dropping rows and columns. In Universal Analytics, you put dimensions into rows and metrics into columns. In GA4, you can add dimensions to either rows or columns to create the in-depth report that you want to see. For instance, in the example report that Google has made, you can see that they've added city as a column, then device category into rows. So the graph will show the city and device category for each metric or value that's added, for example, the active users in the example graph. If you're new to GA4 Explorer reports, we recommend sticking with adding dimensions only to rows when you're first starting out, and then you can start playing with the columns once you're more comfortable with them. Universal Analytics only had metrics. In GA4, this section is called values, and values is actually a good term since in this case it means numbers. So you can only drag and drop metrics into this section. So in Google's example report, active users is the value. If you need to filter the data in your report, the filters box beneath values is where you add your filters. Now you can drag and drop dimensions or metrics into your filters depending on what you're trying to get set up. So for instance, if you're setting up an event report but you just want a particular event, you can drag the event name into the filters box and indicate which event you'd like to see. One of the coolest features of GA4 exploration reports is that you can filter right from the report graph. Just right click on an item and click exclude section. So this is how you filter out not set. That's a general overview of each report section. I encourage you to go ahead and experiment with creating custom reports on whatever makes the most sense for your site. Now we'll go over an example custom report and show you how to set it up so you can still see your landing page data easily. First, we'll start with a blank report. Next, we'll click the plus button in the dimensions box. And then we'll use the search bar to locate and check the landing page dimension. Then click the blue Import button. Now we'll click the plus button in the Metrics box, and once again, we'll use the search bar to locate and check the following metrics. Entrances, Engaged Sessions, Engaged Rate, New Users, User Engagement, 
and purchases. And once we've done that, we'll just click the blue import button. And now for the final step. Now that we have our dimensions and metrics selected, we'll click and drag them into the report. So we'll click and drag our landing page dimensions into rows. And then we'll click and drag all of the metrics into values. And that's it. Now we've created a report about our landing pages, including how many entrances there are on the pages, how many engaged users there were, and whether or not they have completed a purchase. Of course, you're free to add any other metrics to the report that makes sense for your business. And there you have it. In just a few steps, you've created a Google Analytics for custom report. Now with Monster Insights, you get the website stats that matter. See why over 3 million websites use us. If you're not already using Monster Insights, there's a discount link in the description. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time.